Hello, my name is Evie, and you are watching the sixth video of the Art Sessions to Alleviate Stress in Preteens video series. If you are new to the series, I recommend watching the series in order, starting with the intro video. But if you're looking for a video that focuses only on scribble drawings, then you are watching the right one. Let me give a quick recap of the first five videos of the series. So far, we learned what is stress, how art is a great tool for alleviating stress, two breathing techniques, and we learned two art activities that are great for reducing stress. Today, we will be learning one more art activity. This activity is one of the easiest activities and is a very enjoyable one. What do you all think the activity is? Let me give you a quick hint. I said the name of this activity at the beginning of the video. All right, if you said scribble drawing, you guessed you're right, great job. Scribble drawing is a great way to forget our worries and fears. And I hope after today's video, you will all use this art technique whenever you feel stressed or worried. Now let's get started. The materials we need for this activity are a piece of copy slash printer paper or a piece of scratch paper. And then you will need either a marker or a pack of color pencils or a pack of crayons. Any color will work. Okay, now I want you to close your eyes and scribble onto the piece of paper for seven seconds. A scribble cannot be pretty or ugly. So do not think about the scribble. Just let the writing utensil in your hand flow onto the page. Let me count the seven seconds for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now open your eyes and look at the scribble. Use your imagination to identify a drawing that can be made out of the scribble. The drawing doesn't have to have the quality of a Mona Lisa. It can be anything that comes to your mind and it does not have to be perfect. You can draw an alien, a landscape, an animal, an abstract piece, whatever comes to your mind. While you're making a drawing out of the scribble, think about what inspired you to make this drawing. If you look up at the screen, I chose to create an abstract piece and the inspiration behind my drawing was an abstract stained glass painting that I once saw at my friend's house. Now there's just one last thing I wanna say before, you, before I let you to it. Don't fret about your scribble being ugly and don't stress about your final drawing not being a masterpiece because a scribble can't be ugly and every drawing is perfect in its own unique way. Have fun with this activity and let your hands flow onto the page. Okay, I'm done giving you instructions, so I'll now play some music in the background while you draw, and if you need extra time once the music stops, feel free to stop the video and play it when you're ready to continue. Have fun.
Now I'm going to start talking again, so if you need extra time to work on this activity, feel free to pause the video, continue working on your drawing, and play the video again when you're ready. If you are ready, I really hope you enjoy this activity, and don't forget to let me know in the comments what you turned your scribble into. On the screen in front of you, there should now be the written instructions for activity number three. So if you prefer reading instructions, feel free to take a screenshot of the slide. Now we're going to go on to the benefits of this activity. The benefits of this, the benefits of this activity are this technique can help with rel relaxation. Scribble drawings can help a person's mind focus on the here and now. It helps steer the person's mind away from the stress and their worries. Also, this technique helps with reducing anxiety or perfectionism because a scribble cannot be beautiful or ugly, so there's no need to stress about the results. Scribble drawings are another form of doodling, and doodling is known to bring greater focus, improve one's moods, and take stressors away, and doodling can even increase creativity. According to the Arts and Psychotherapy study, they found that doodling boosts blood flow in the frontal cortex of the brain, which therefore leads to mood enhancement. This one simple activity has so many benefits within it. So I hope you all will use this activity to help relieve your stress because it is a very great tool. All right, that is all I have for this video and I really hope you all enjoyed this activity. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so they can expand their knowledge on art activities to help alleviate their stress. Also, don't forget that at the end of the video, there will be a mini quiz based off of today's video. So don't forget to watch that and answer the quiz questions in the comments below and ask any questions you might have in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.